In this video, let us learn about SNS topic and SQS queue. And SNS topic works on a fan out model, which means a single notification can be sent at us one time to varied receivers or subscribers like SQS queue or an email or a lambda function in this case. So let us get to understand how to create an SNS topic and how to create an SQS queue then subscribe that SQS queue to our SNS topic. Let us get into the management console and learn how to do this. Let us create SNS topic. You will find a search bar on the top, type SNS, you will find the simple notification service in the list. Click on simple notification service, you will be forwarded into SNS console. You can create a topic by clicking on the next step or you can create a topic from topics on the menu. Click on create topic, you will be forwarded into create topic page where you will find two types of SNS topics. One is FIFO model, the other one is standard topic. We can see FIFO can only be subscribed by SQS whereas standard queue or a standard topic can be subscribed by SQS lambda http sms and other endpoints let us select standard the name of the topic would be okay the display name you can choose according to your choice let us use the same name okay the other options that you need to keep in mind are access policy Access policy is something which allows you to give permission to certain AWS services and all. We will modify our access policy according to our need in our subsequent videos. As of now, we are keeping it as it is. Now, we will see some options which we can modify. Define who can publish messages in the topic. Only topic owner. Yeah, define who can subscribe the topic. Everyone. Anyone with this ARN number can subscribe this SNS topic. Let us go ahead and click on create topic. Therefore, we have successfully created our SNS topic. Now, here you can see subscriptions in the menu bar. You can create a subscription. Before you create a subscription, you need to create an SNS topic to which a SQS queue is associated. Let us go into SQS queue. Take a duplicate tab, type SQS in your search bar, you will find simple queue service. Once you come into simple queuing service console, you can find create queue. Click on the create queue. Again here you have two types of queues. One is standard queue, the other one is first in first out queue. We are creating a standard queue. SQS demo. We have given the name of the queue. Now there are certain configurations which you can alter like message retention period. How many days do you want your messages to stay in your queue after they are delivered? And what is the maximum size of your message? And what is the wait time? Etc. Coming to encryption. Encryption is to safeguard your message from the server side. You can see it's a server side encryption. You can enable it or disable it. If you are messages of, of high priority or something of your personal use or security concern, you can key, you can enable the encryption. But we are disabling the encryption as of now. Again, we have a basic access policy you here. When we go into subsequent videos, we will be modifying the access policy according to our need. Now, we will modify two options that we are given here. Define who can send messages to the queue. Only the queue owner or you can specify the account number. You will find the account number from here or you can get it from here. So anyone with this account number should be sending the messages and who can receive it again anyone with this account number. Therefore we have created a simple access policy which we can use to create a queue. And coming to one more important aspect called dead letter queue. For example there are few messages because of network reasons or any other reason they are not delivered you want to catch them at some place so that you can look into them and identify what is the cause and you can resend those messages so you can enable the dead letter queue and you can choose a queue ARN by selecting the queue as of now we have not created any additional queue so we are disabling it let us create a queue 
therefore our queue is created now you can see sns subscriptions over here and you can see subscriptions over here we can subscribe from any of the consoles let us subscribe our sns topic from here there is sns subscriptions click on subscribe to amazon sns topic ideally in the drop down menu you should look at the sns topic that you have created earlier right sns demo always it shows the amazon resource number that is arn number click on the arn that is concerned with you now click on save therefore the sns topic is successfully subscribed by the sqs queue let us verify that by going into sns console let us refresh the page and therefore we can confirm that our sqs queue has been successfully subscribed by our sns topic therefore we have set up a simple architecture where our sns topic is sending the notifications to sqs queue we can use this to trigger multiple activities further therefore we have come to the end of the video